always a good place to start is the breath, okay? And today in this meditation, we're going to, it's a meditation of becoming intimate with whatever is arising in you. And what you're going to be choosing it may not just be something that's difficult, okay? It may be something that's really beautiful and waiting to be open to, such as like love or gratitude, maybe appreciation for life. So it doesn't have to be leaning over into the category of what we find difficult and challenging, okay? Interestingly, we can find opening to the be- something beautiful that we contain within just as challenging. It's very interesting how we're wired that way. Like we don't want to be overwhelmed in general by too much feeling in any direction. But that's so, again, we are going to evoke courage because what we're doing is we're turning around and turning towards and facing ourselves, okay? So you're withdrawing any outward pulling energy at first with your body and your mind and your senses, and you're pulling them back in. And just imagine, it's just like the tide is coming back into towards you, okay? It's pulling back in all outward leaning energies. Just imagine it's all drying up and pulling back and pulling into you, settling into you. That's the first step. Because you wanna have all of yourself on board, nothing out there lost in, in distraction. And if you find your mind wandering a bit, just give it some space to come on board too. Like, no, there's time for everything, but right now there's, there's this is an exercise. I'm going to bring my focus in consciously. Okay? This is me time. Each person here, this is your time. That's the first step. And just let yourself sit with that and see if you feel in your, in in your body itself, if you feel any kind of contraction or anything that's taking place just by having done that, maybe in your belly, in your heart, you know, everybody's different. Is there any place inside that's feeling a bit like, but, um, you know, and this is really wise what the body's telling you, okay? Saying, oh, there's some something going on here. So either you know, maybe you'll feel a little contraction, or maybe I just want to touch base with all kinds of possibilities so that you feel included. And if none of the places I'm mentioning correspond to you, then just please include whatever is arising in you because I cannot know what is taking place within everybody. So the first place that I felt as a group and as the group leader here is is a feeling in the belly and now it's moving into the heart. So if you are one of the people or there are several of us maybe that are feeling that, just Fine, great. And if you're feeling something else, then please include yourself. And the first step is always just to acknowledge, okay, well, check this out, you know? There's, be kind of neutral and curious about it. Like what's going on here? There's this kind of 
thing knocking around in my heart or in my belly or in my throat. Maybe my head, my brain is feeling tense, you know, a contraction in the brain does happen. Too much efforting, <laughs> too much will force being exerted in life, you know, so there'll be a, a time where the brain goes, oh, this is exhausting, you know. Or maybe even in the in the groin, in the sexual area, I want to include it all. Okay, nothing is pushed away; everything is allowed. So first, you feel it and sense it, and then okay, so you open to it. That's how you open to it and go, oh, here you are. What? And then a little curiosity: What is this? I wonder. And there's just this wonder. So already you're loosening any cords of identification, which is this tendency to contract around something, making it a thing, you know? So we wanna go from it, feeling it really like, this is a, a thing to opening it up and going, I'm curious about this thing, of some allowance around it. And you may even know what it is, you know? All along, it could just be energetic, by the way, or it may raise its hand and say, this is, you know, exactly what it is, what it, what's going on, you know, doesn't really matter. A story may emerge, right? You want to have, allow for space around the story, the space around the energetic feeling of it okay whatever however it's presenting because we're loosening the bonds of solidity i wonder what this is okay wonder is different than i want to know wonder is creates a big container around it and wonder doesn't need an answer okay better better even even if you have a story say to yourself i wonder what this is because what it is is so much deeper and more meaningful and intelligent than a story So continue to breathe and bring breath to it. Okay, let's just spend a little time bringing breath. Bring your breath into that space and just breathe in and then breathe out and allow whatever it is to just air out, you know, just uh, creating more space. Just let it air out. You're not trying to push it away. You're just bringing more allowance in with your breath. Maybe another wave of fear will come in or contraction, or maybe it'll move a little bit. It's okay. And all the while you wanna have this feeling of this is welcome, um, this is allowed, it's, it's allowed to be here. So creating like a, a sense of friendship within yourself with whatever this is. You know, just sit by its side maybe, you know, and hold space.
and some mo different movements may come up like I'm sorry you know that this is so difficult or this is you know it's like you're starting to relate to yourself maybe in a in a particular way Or maybe it's completely energetic and you're um, feeling the vibration of these dancing molecules, feeling and sensing, and you're becoming intimate with these dancing molecules like this is very interesting and maybe new feeling. And then just check in and see, are you still holding yourself back a bit? If you've been in relationship with it, like sitting next to it, see if you can lean in more and let the your molecules meet with this energetic signature of whatever this is and become more one with it so that you don't know where you start and where this begins and more and more like a genetic energetic vibrational kind of thing happening. And continue to stay with the immediacy of the experience. You're training yourself to be a warrior of staying with something, meeting it fully, meeting yourself fully, and then breathing, remembering to breathe. Keep relaxing into it. Open to the fluidity of what you're feeling. Sense how it's fluid versus solid. This is the feeling that you want to evoke. It's whatever this is, is fluid. I'm just entering this cloud of unknowing, you know, it's, it's an energetic cloud holding whatever it does, it's holding. Dynamic, it's dynamic energy. moving away from any labels, dynamic energy. And if you find yourself still resisting a bit, see if you can meet that and say, oh, I'm still holding back here. I can feel it in my belly and my heart. And that's okay. But can I be even more of a warrior, warriors, and continue this exploration? Just because it's different and feels uncomfortable, perhaps in any way, still um, doesn't mean it's wrong or bad. It's just unknown.
And um, you can also invite it to become more transparent, not forcing anything, but like you're, if you're really feeling it and the vibration and you're allowing yourself to feel the quality of the vibration, let's say it feels a little heavy, warm, maybe some color or two, maybe some musical notes, you, who knows how it, you're experiencing it, okay? Let it, let it um, have its um, time first, you know, before asking it to change in any way. Let it have its time because nothing really wants to change until we really receive it. So this is you receiving an aspect of yourself, something that you've been holding inside. And it has a chance to finally communicate with you. So let it have its say, however it's presenting, let it have its say. Now that maybe you've made it less solid and moved away from making it wrong or scary, Let it have its, its time. And what it's doing, it's singing itself out, you know? It needs to have its time to sing itself out. And here you are being present to this in you, as you, not separate from you, one thing with you. It's collapsing duality. You as this, this as you. You as experience, experience as you. One thing. Your body is large enough and your capacity is large enough to open to this and experience this. And be with it. So make sure that you're not trying to make something happen, okay? Really important. You're not trying to manipulate in any way, organize, control, project into the future and outcome, okay? That's one way to make this process, slow it down, you know, but if you find yourself doing that, just go, oh, wow, okay. I'm asked being, I'm asking myself to remain present and be present to this, whatever this is arising, which is an aspect of myself. And it doesn't contain time in the way that we would like it to. It doesn't have a time. It, like this is where it begins, this is where it ends. It's just asking for you to sit with it in a timeless way. Can you set aside time?
no demands on yourself or on anything. Sitting in a timeless way with whatever is arising. Shiva. Pure awareness, just sitting, being with something. Not as a witness, but as a container. Knowing that this is an ath this is part of you. A witness will keep something solid. This is collapsing witness. Becoming, allowing yourself to become one with being whatever this energetic thing is. And it may just be, you know, like um, the full thing where you're, you're really seamless or you may be coming in and out of it. That's fine. This is a really important exercise that you can practice and get familiar with because that's what you want to do. You want to get familiar with yourself and help make whatever it feels to be solid inside and separate to collapse that. Which translates to the outside eventually. So just checking in, like, do, how, do, how does your body feel like? Do you feel still something in your belly? Is it the same thing? But it's just check in and see how is it, how are you doing? Is it still sort of contracted or is it softer? It doesn't really matter. It's more curious, you know? Not like, have I done any kind of transmutation through it? But just do feel and see, do you feel a bit more like transparent in regards to feeling yourself? A little more transparent. A little less solid. Because if you've entered in any kind of way to meet fully and experience, there should be a feeling of not like wanting it to go away or dissolve it, but just more transparency because you've, you're, you're, you're relaxing any feeling of separation in regards to it. So that would be the natural outcome. It doesn't have to be all gone and all fixed or all anything. Just you wanna feel some transparency, okay? See if you do. Less solid. A little more familiar with whatever it is, not in the intellectual way, but energetic way. Oh. And when you're ready, you can start to feel into your breath again. And I would like for you to take like an inner bow towards that which has been <laughs> teaching you basically about yourself, about something that lives in you as you, that you've separated from, okay? Unconsciously, unknowingly. Just a bow of gratitude. Thank you for being my teacher. 
and um, I'll come back. Maybe you can, if you feel it, say I'll come back to you as often as needed until there is a complete un seamlessness here. No particular knowing of what it would be, but just a relaxation, acceptance, allowance, so much so that it's seamless. So maybe it, maybe it would disappear, but that would be an organic thing. But it would be a disappearance that teaches you some more something about yourself, not disappear and goes no into emptiness. It's actually a teacher to where you can understand more deeply about yourself. All right, so the breath comes in and out and with each exhalation, just see whatever wants to go out of the experience to leave, you, that's allowed. We're allowed to let go of, you know, whatever is no longer useful. That's welcomed. Any energies that are no longer useful, that maybe beliefs around something that don't belong anymore, that aren't helpful. Maybe some fear that wants to leave that is no longer there. It can just be discarded. And compost, you know, goes back to compost, everything returns in some way. Okay, when you're ready, you can open your eyes and just slowly return, but make sure that when you open your eyes that you stay with yourself, okay? We're, we're not asking, no one's asking you to open your eyes and give yourself away to the group. Uh, Stay planted. <laughs>